Hello there, one. I'm Raider, and welcome to this episode of Star Wars Empire at War, Forces of Corruption. Now, I don't remember exactly how I ended up in this days. Um, it's been a while since I recorded the last episode, and that's because there's a bit of a mishap, actually. Um, essentially, last week I ran out of time to really record anything, and I didn't actually get around to recording very much. So yeah, there wasn't anything there, that's also why I didn't upload anything. So unfortunately, there wasn't really much done in that sense. So let's see. What can I get done here then? Let's get you guys to go straight and give him some assistance. Because he's going to need it. Well, just go for everything. It wasn't really going to help them that, that much longer anyway. Launch bay. Only had one fighter left in it. I was expecting to lose that. I don't normally manage to save the acclimators. Full firepower on those bombers. Send everything we've got at them. So we have one bomber squadron, no sorry, four bomber squadrons at the moment. One TIE fighter squadron and a lot of other things. Get those fighters to break off and attack those bombers. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, where is the mar I forgot to look at what I forgot the morale was there. Whoops! Oh no, the morale is all the way back here now. Unless this thing also brings the morale across. No, only. I don't remember putting that thing there. Hmm. That's funny. Let's see what's going on then. I need a bunch of you to break off and attack that. Those bombers are going to cause havoc. Okay, let's see how much damage can we get done with these guys. I think I might have started with three of them, so I've probably lost something now. Let's start repairs. Great, okay, you guys break off. Just deal with them. At this point, we just need to take out those bombers. Everything else will fall in time. Except from that. That's the one thing that won't fall given time because it's out of range. What how's our shields are doing? Okay, our shields are not doing well. And we've got no energy credits, okay. Let's send you guys at them. Let's see how many more they have. Oh they have loads. As long as the hangar does not go down, we're fine. But it looks like they're just going for going to town on this base now. Wait, okay, that one's now there, and that's been destroyed. Um, we're taking a lot of heavy damage now. I don't think there's very much we're going to do if that hangar goes down. And this is all over. Either way, everything here are free units, so I can't bring anything of them back except from those scouts. We want this thing out of the way as quick as possible. Attack. 
Come on, just get something in range of that thing. If we can distract it, that'll do that'll do us some good. Right, how's our hangar doing? Hangar is still at a hundred percent. However, I don't think it's going to remain at 100% for very much longer. They're going for the hangar, it appears. The shields are, the shields are holding. Just. See. Just open all fire. Well, that's the end of the Thai scouts, unfortunately. I didn't think they were going to last much longer. Yeah, this base is going down to level 2 at least. Possibly level 1. Let's see. Okay, um, no, this is not going well whatsoever. The shields are back up, back online though, which is going to bring us some time. I don't have anything that can really get through them except from the bombers. So let's clean up that bomber squadron. If I can get rid of all their bomber squadrons, that's going to literally save me as much time as I can, that's going to give me as much time as I can get my hands on. How many more bomber squadrons do they have? I think that might be their last set. Fire everything! Hmm. I don't particularly think this is going very well. They have bombers, and uh, that's a lot of bombers. Where the hell is my fighter support? Get those fighters straight onto those bombers. Another one of those fighters. Where's the first batch of bombers coming in? I need to get rid of as many of these bombers as I can. Let's see. Alright, so that's another one of them down. On, just take it down quickly, please. That would be really helpful if you could just rip these things apart a bit quicker. Without drawing too much attention to yourself, of course. Looks like they're going to be able to get something out, though. Oh, I forgot about those things. Those things also do a bit nasty bit of damage. Hmm. But the bombers are more I'm more interested in. Harder to hit. They'll last longer. He's making a break for the station. Take him. Never mind, he's dead already. Okay, let's see. Roger 
The Nebulon B frigates are not my main target. The bombers are. And those and the long range weapons. Or long range Marauder class Marauder class cruisers. Those things are definitely on the top of my priorities list. <laughs> Essentially I just need to keep their units distracted. If I can stop them from getting out, that's great. Let's see. They didn't really do much, I just kept them down there, distract them away for the rest of um, what, I'm at, what my main objective is. And there goes that one. Bring all fire down on those on those fighters. Squadron standing by, firing for the Empire. Yes, sir. Initiating attack. Rip it apart. Firing on their lasers. Directing all fire on the engines. Engines are out. Take out those engines. Well, they retreated, and I don't think I took any major casualties. I did lose the stormtroopers, though. Now let's go to Kashyyyk and get those soldiers back on the ground. Oh, I only went down to level two. Nice. Um, I got no engine credits. Great. And Kashyyyk is actually corrupted. That is not what I need right now. Um, I need to get you up to a new state. Station. Ilum again. I thought I've had enough of attacking Ilum by now. Did I have a fleet to send over to Ilum? I did have one in the making, but I didn't get very far, did it? Right, at least this time I have the cannons to take him out with. So. Get you in the back there. Let's see what's going on up here. Nothing apparently. Awaiting instructions. Let's see, does this hit? No, I don't. It hit, but I missed it in the um, shops, unfortunately. Well, this is where the main advantage of having the TIE Scouts really comes out. The ability to reveal the fog of war really does help here. Let's put it this way. That cannon? This is literally going to be one of my only ways defending this planet now. Because the space station really isn't that good and won't be able to hold them off for much longer, for much, for very long on its own. Hmm. It was the other one I got hit. Ready 
Oh, I don't think they've only really got one left now. Oh shoot! They still managed to get through the shields with only one though. I need to bring. I need to bring that thing down quick. Good thing it's moving at the moment though. That corvette's down. Right, the high velocity gun is active. Let's go take. Let's go target some marauders. Again, I'm not going to be able to see the destruction it causes. Great. Right, and they are retreating. Thanks to the high velocity gun, I have been able to defend Ilum really quickly this time, instead of taking an hour's long slugging fest. Probably next week, probably a couple of X-Wings and Y-Wing squadrons. So that went really, really well. So, um, I'm going to have to do something at some point. Hmm. So I've got Coraban. I'm at tech level 5. That was expensive corruption. Oh no, wait. Did they just. Great. What planet they corrupted? The Annex. Can't afford to remove it either. See, I need Kuat to have a level 4 space station at least, so. He's gonna... I'm gonna need another planet to put onto a. Well, a money generating planet, another credit generating planet. Now I'm thinking Corazon might be actually the best one to go for. However, I will reevaluate my choices another time because I will need a I will need to be able to supply myself with better equipment later on later on in the campaign. Seriously? Can't leave Athens too alone for two seconds, can I? Uh, Argo Re. Ilum? Oh, great. That's actually a really light force. This should be a very. This should be an easy mit. This should be an easy one. All I need to do is really just ping over where they are. And of course they're gone already. Right. I need to find them before they get to me. That's one down. I just need to keep them scattered and scattered and moving. That's all I really need to do. If I can keep that, if I can have that, this shouldn't be too difficult. Well, that one's dead. <laughs> End of story now. There's no way that one's going to be able to survive. Especially not with how close it's gone to the, to the space station. And there's another shot coming in. That's free. That's free out of the question. How is that one still alive? 
I'm literally just gonna throw everything I've got at it until it dies at this point. The only reason why it's actually still alive is simply because it's got that one there keeping it around. Where's the last? Where's the other one? If the other one doesn't show itself, I will just hit that one. So where is the last one? Well, at least you can do some damage. That one literally managed. And good night. There he is. Oh, he survived. Some careful maneuvering that was. Come on, come on. No, he got away. Large. Ah, uh, right. However, that was another successful defense of Ilum. Let's get that fleet over there. My ground forces aren't actually all that substantial. I'm just going to have to rebuild everything on this planet. I want to remove the corruption really, really badly, but I know if I try to, I'm going to lose everything. So I can't, exactly. Makes this a really brutal game. Right, so my next target is Yavin is Yavin four. I want to take that plan out before it comes to much of a threat. Right. Okay, so let's see. And they're corrupting Athen two again. Great. Alright, the good news I've got is that they've Corrupted quite a lot of the rebels' planets. That's probably going to slow them down. So what I need to do is I need to get to a couple of planets and quite soon. <sighs> Corellia. Um, this one's more important. If they manage to keep that black market open, they'll be able to get some more units. Let's see, what do I want here? Um, vehicle facility. Remove corruption. Another one on Annex. Let's see. Um, let's see. So you go there, right? How much got much more left to run there? That's actually okay. I I want to build. They're corrupting cars on now. Great. They better not corrupt them in his black market. That's not that bad.
the longer that the more times they corrupt my planets, the more time I have to spend repairing the damage. You gotta be kidding me. Another one? Corrupt Monitor. Great. That's gonna hold me at a standstill. The first Imperial Star Destroyer will be sent to Ilum to defend the planet against the, the Rebellion forces. Never has such a dangerous ship been made by the Empire. Hmm. However, at the end of this, I do want to send someone over to deal with... I want to make sure I actually take it Yavin before the end of this video. So, let's see. Um, number one of them. Number one of them. And let's go down. Another attempt at corrupting Corazon. But I haven't got enough to uncorrupt the planet. Alright, so. Let's get you out. Let's see what are your space forces like. Hmm. Actually, not all that high. Um, however, I can't see their space stations. So let's start with doing a bit of where Corellia was. Oh dear. Right. Um. Okay, a bit of a bug there. So, what am I up against? Nebulon B frigates. Ah, one of those. Shoot, that is not good. Um, I'm reporting a massive chance of defeat in this battle. Those things have a mass driver turret on both the front and back of the ship, as well as a ar massive array of different weapons. Plus, they can drain a, a ship's shield within seconds. Um, mass driver turrets, point defense, them two aren't really much of a problem, buzz droids, and that's going to be a massive pain in the rear to deal with. Great. So essentially, take out the bigger ship, take out the mass drivers first, and then they just become normal capital ships. I mean, from what I've got then, she got, she got more defense than standard capital ships do. Essentially, against those ships, there is no defense. Not even for fighters. That's the only thing I can really send at them. Keep back. Hmm. And there's one of their capital ships. Looks like they brought one, one in for now. How many did they have? I think they had four of them. And there's one less than. No, not one less than. Um, what they called again? Vengeance classes. And there's the cadet. And there's the cadet class. Uh, let's just pause for a second. Where are all my bombers? You two go straight at his neck. I need to deal with those. I need to give it something to focus on. Oh shoot! Do not in the do not. Unfortunately, I did not intend for you to survive. Hmm. 
I think the um no it's still around. Right, so that thing's one of that thing's weapons out. I'm not letting that thing get out of here. What's this up here? Is this fog of war? That thing wasn't going to make it. Yes, sir. That thing's back. Yes, Ready. Let's move out. Can't let this one get too close. Keep these guys out of there. I don't know. I want to at least keep these guys in. Right, so at least his, at least his um at least the main threatening thing about him is out. Essentially, these big ships, well, they're special ships that not with the special with the mass drivers. I do not want those from getting getting back into their space. Yeah, essentially I'm just taking out their engines, so if they try to escape, they aren't getting very far. Well, not much left. You need to move now. Get the hell out of that location. That thing isn't going anywhere. Let's focus on the... Any engines? No, that thing's just one thing. Shoot, they're going straight for him. Right away. My sensors are unaffected by the nebula. I've got one on me. And there goes the scouts. Great. Any of these guys got anything other than... My copy. Right, let's focus the firepower onto, those, onto that capital ship. Let's see what they got up here. Nothing, pretty much. Hopefully when that capital ship goes down, they'll retreat. They've got another one? At least, got, at least I've got some time before it arrives. I haven't got as many support ships at this point, so... Oh, oh shoot. They're being in the fog of war. Not for long. They've got two in now? That is not good. I need to get those bombers back over here and quick. Three. Knew they had... I knew they had a lot of them. I don't think I'm at, I don't think I have enough things. That is not good. I need to keep those guns occupied. Ah, 
Come on, take out those mass drivers. That should be enough to take those out. Oh, I'm going through money keeping that shield generator alive. And now it's down. Great, that's not going to help. They're targeting the hangar. I need to get rid of these things quick. This might just be my first defeat. Well, not my first defeat. My second defeat, I think it will be. Um... And that hangar's down. The hangar's gone. This is lost. But we're, but we're not going to go out without a fight. All forces concentrate fire onto that target. If I manage to pull this off, it would be a miracle. There's no hangar. The station's literally the last, the only thing that can really actually keep this, keep it, us in this fight. I don't think it's going to last much longer. Especially considering there's only three ships left, all of which are fighters. If it had only been one day sent in at a time, that would have been okay and manageable. Two, I might have been able to deal with the two. And that's it. Focus all fire onto that target. Well, tell me something I don't know, please. Well, Mm. Oh dear. Let's see. Um, will my fleet make it there before their fleet, before their forces do? I think they will. Uh, no, they won't. It's unlikely that they will. I need those. They're there already. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, if I can take out those ground forces, that would be brilliant. I've only got one problem. Those three massive ships. And they're all in at once this time. I'm going to have to play this really, really smart. Okay, um... Hmm. I can't bring any massive. Sh I, if I try bringing in the bigger ships, the they'll get. Oh, shoot. Okay. Hmm. If I try bringing in the bigger ships, they'll get, they'll get obliterated. Can't afford to. What? What the hell just. They retreated because of all their ships, because of all their units were there. I won't be able to pull that one off again, unfortunately. I need to get rid of these two um, black markets. Tyrazan is dead. So do I then? Looks like the rebellion struck back. So I just uncorrupted Corazon. Another corrupt militer. They better not get a corrupt militer Ilum. That would be. That would just be ridiculous at that point. Um, okay, I need to start moving out. Ah, my fleet is tagged there as well, which is going to be really annoying. Fleet being pinned, pinned, pinned there for a little while. 
can cause me more problems. Black market, okay. Hmm. Essentially, the more crop militias they have, the more risk I am. So I'm going to have to take. Okay, so going on Yavin, going to be a top priority. It's literally going to be one of my highest priorities at this point because I need to start going after the Zan Consortium. And quick. What planet is it? This Tyrannix again. Right. Location confirmed. Right. right. So, by the time he gets there, they'll be done, right? Okay. Hmm. Well, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to do Yavin in this video, in this episode. So yeah, uh, I'm going to actually end it off here. So, if you like the episode, like it, dislike it, dislike it. I don't mind. It's your honest opinion. Please say what I did, what I've been doing well. What do you think I could improve? I want this channel to get better and not worse. So, um, hmm. What else? Um, if you like this content that I've been posting and you'd like to see more of it. And please, by all means, subscribe. It tells me that I'm doing something right, and that at least I have people who will, well, hopefully, want to watch my content. Now, if you want to be the first one among the first to watch, oh great! If you want to be among the, I thought the movie Emperor. Oh dear! Uh, oh, you've got to be kidding me! Oh, this is not going to be pretty. Okay, I'm going to save that for the next episode. I'm getting a lot of these now. It's um. Oh, I think I have to retreat that one actually. Give me a second. Um, wrong one. What is it? It's that one. So. Okay. Uh, so it doesn't say that the if the emperor dies, it's game over. Okay. Hmm. And Annex is right next to Corazon as well. That might make things a little bit more interesting. Well, my intention of pounding them into a corner didn't quite go so well. And I sort of. An animal is most dangerous when it is cornered, I sort of put myself in that one. Uh, so, well, as I was saying. This is the end of the episode. I'll do that one. I'll do that one next episode. And I'd just like to thank you guys for watching. If you watch through the videos at this point. Anyway, so. Until next time. Goodbye.